Back in 2003, during the MMORPG craze, Disney released Toontown Online, which was a direct competitor to every single game that was out there at the time, which was not that many, to be honest, because I thought that World of Warcraft was the first one that sort of just led the charge and every single other MMO kind of just followed suit. Everything was just a WoW reskin. That's what I used to think. But no, because Disney released Toontown a whole year before that, so is every game really just a Toontown reskin? Is Toontown really the best one that's out there? What I'm trying to say is that Toontown was actually one of the early birds to the genre and well it was actually a pretty fun game that I never really got the chance to play because back then PC gaming was just so niche and not everyone had access to a computer to play it and I fortunately did but I spent all my membership money on games like RuneScape my family couldn't afford two memberships and I was like I do I play RuneScape or do I play Toontown and eventually Toontown didn't make the cut and was just lost to time but now 20 years later I'm playing Toontown Rewritten which is a private server that's based off of Toontown not affiliated with Disney in any way because Disney killed the original Toontown Online back in 2013. They were just like, you know what, we're done with this. It's not going anywhere, let's just kill it. So in 2014, the private server Toontown Rewritten was launched and was made completely free to play because you obviously can't charge money for something that you don't legally own. And now as a grown ass adult, I got the chance to play Toontown Rewritten and I was not expecting how much fun I'd be having playing a 20 year old Disney game that's designed for little children. For some reason, the nostalgia wave hit me so hard for a game that I never got to play past a free trial but the, getting the chance to play it for the first time and seeing how active the community is to this day is just dumbfounding. It's not like Fusion Fall because when I played Fusion Fall, Open Fusion, the private server, was mainly dead and I got the chance to play and it was just like, okay, it's kind of whatever. But if you're curious about Toontown Rewritten and you never got the chance to play Toontown online like I did and you don't really know what to expect, well, let me tell you exactly what the game is about and what my first impressions were about the game. So the world of Toontown is being overrun by these businessmen called the Cogs and they just want to turn Toontown into the, their latest business business venture. They want to turn the fun meter all the way down and they want to suck the life out of everything. Just basically make everything corporate and boring. And it's kind of ironic because it's kind of what Disney's turning into right now. So maybe there's a good reason Disney abandoned the project. They didn't want to seem like hypocrites at one point, huh? And now you as a toon, you have to join the never ending struggle against the cogs, but you're not going to kill them because that's violent and this is a kid's game, remember? No, you have to attack them using gags. And by gags, I mean just funny little pranks that you pull on them. And well, they get so disgruntled when they die that they just start spinning around and explode for some apparent reason. So you as a toon don't really have an HP meter because HP means health and if you run out of health you die. And remember this is a kid's game, you're not dying here. No, what you do have is a laugh meter that determines how happy you are. And if your laugh meter goes to zero, you don't really die even though it's heavily implied. No, you just get sad and then you, you're basically just moping around until you just regenerate your, your happiness. We're not pulling a Padme Amidala here and just straight up dying from sadness. You actually just get sent back to the lobby. So Toon Town kind of follows the same MMO formula where you just go through a quest line to help you unlock different attacks or you just go to different areas and kind of just leads you all the way to endgame content. And well, on your journey to endgame content, there's different areas with different level cogs. There's instances, which I found really surprising. You know, there's cog buildings that you go to fight specific cogs and sort of just liberate the shop that's being overrun by the cogs and there's actually like instances there's dungeons there's there's actual cog factories that you go in it's just like a world of warcraft instance it's just like going through a world of warcraft dungeon where you have healers and you have uh, people who lure people who attack there's actual coordination and strategy to the combat system and i find that really refreshing it's actually really interesting to see that much level of, of detail into a 2003 game you know but remember that this is a game made for kids and you want to have fun in so many other ways so what else can you do to have fun in Toontown if you're not doing the main quest line? Well, there's actually a lot of mini games that you can take part in. Like there's fishing, you have a house that you can decorate, you can change your outfits, you can change your furniture, you can you can have a garden, and you can also adopt a little doodle as a pet. You know, it's sort of very reminiscent of Animal Crossing where you just have your own little happy place and you can decorate it however you want and collect different types of furniture to really like make the place feel yours and feel unique. And how can you afford to buy all these pieces of furniture and how can you know you afford to buy all these outfits and how can you afford to buy your doodle your pets well the game's currency is called jelly beans even in toontown even as a tune there's a capitalist nature to everything so there's different ways to collect them you can either sell the fish that you get uh you can wait for the higher levels to just gift you jelly beans which happened to me a lot when i was streaming it a lot of people kept giving me jelly beans and i kept feeling bad because it was a lot of jelly beans it was thousands and thousands of jelly beans just given to me for for no reason but uh, thank you for that by the way and i think the funnest way to collect jelly beans is to go through the trolley game and if you've ever played Mario Party you know that Mario Party has mini games and that's like the, one of the main selling points of Mario Party and Toontown has the exact same thing because when you go to the trolley there's a bunch of mini games that you just play 
trade with other players to collect jelly beans. And there's a lot of fun ones. I can't remember any at the moment, but uh, I'll probably just show you a couple. You know, there's a lot of variety to them and, you know, it's actually pretty interesting. So in the vast expanse of the Toontown world and this realm where so many people gather to play the game, it kind of makes sense to see why the game has so many active players on a daily. Every single time I streamed it, there was never a point where they, they were under 1,000 players active at the moment, you know. The game has a pretty active player base, and some people might think that 1,000 players is just, you know, it's not really that much players, but, you know, 1,000 players is 1,000 players. It's 1,000 people. That's way more than a lot of the Smash Brothers knockoffs have. So I would actually say that the world of Toontown is pretty alive and thriving and you know, for a private server having over 1,000 daily active users, that's actually a pretty impressive feat. Because like I mentioned before, the when I was playing Fusion Fall online, that realm was dead. There was just nothing happening. There was just no players, and the only players that came in were the players that just saw me streaming and decided to just play it at the moment. So seeing a game that even without anyone streaming it, and there's no one encouraging you to play, there's just a lot of people that are just daily active on the Reddit, there's people that are daily active on the Discord, and there's people that just log in and just play the games and kind of just reminisce on the good time. Times. It's actually pretty nice. It's actually pretty refreshing. It's rewarding. It's, it's, it feels good. It feels really good. I think one of the reasons I enjoy Toontown so much is because there's no blatant attack of monetization in my face. You know, there's no flashing lights of battle passes trying to get me to spend money. And I feel like with a lot of these recent games that are coming out, everything just wants to sell me something, and that it just really like demotivates me from wanting to play the game. Even if it's even if I know I'm not going to spend a single penny on the game, the fact that they're trying to sell me something just really just in the back of my mind just goes like, okay, the amount of fun I can have in this game is limited, there's gonna be a point where I'm gonna to have to want to spend money if I want to keep having fun in the game. But Toontown doesn't do that. Toontown just gives it to you for free and just like, hey, enjoy it. We're not gonna charge you anything. We can't charge you anything. Just enjoy the game for what it is and have as much fun as you can. So from being 100% free to play to having one of the friendliest communities I've ever seen to really just being such a powerful nostalgia trip for a game I never even got the chance to play uh, more than 20 minutes of. It's weird because, you know, every game has its flaws and I, it's usually much more interesting to talk about the flaws for some reason. People like listening about flaws and anything else, but I don't know, Toontown Rerun is really nice. It's it's awesome and you should go play it if you haven't, and if you're already playing it, then hell yeah, dude. And you know, for being one of the two main private servers of a 20-year-old game, I would say that Toontown Rerun is actually thriving and doing pretty well for itself. People really enjoy the game, the community is one of the friendliest I've ever seen, and like I said, it's one of the two main private servers because Toontown Rerun, it, let's say it's more true to the original and preserving with Toontown for what it was, and then there's Toontown Corporate Club Clash, which is the one that sort of just innovates more and sort of just pulls, pushes out more updates to keep the game feeling more refreshing for like the, the older player base. So if you're a fan of nostalgia and you don't feel like being disappointed by just crappy games that you thought were good when you played them as a kid, but you, as an adult you play them and you're like, wow, this is actually, how did I ever enjoy this? I would actually say check out Toontown Rewritten and just have your fun with it, man. Just have fun. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So I'll catch you guys later.